Initially, it was very much a personal thing. You know, I grew up driving station wagons around the Pacific Northwest. I would go camping, I'd go out to the beach, I'd go on road trips with friends. And as an adult, I decided to start doing that again. So I, I, you know, I got an old station wagon and I started going out on these trips. But, you know, I would go to abandoned industrial sites. I would go, you know, taking the car up these tiny little dirt trails. And there was this you know, vibe, this feeling of being out there in the woods with this old car, a very surreal experience. And that became and I think the initial seed idea for the game. Pacific Drive is a run-based driving survival game, but when we started, we were very much just prototyping. We were getting the player into the car, having them drive around in the woods, and getting a feel of the space out there. What we quickly figured out is there's a lot of overlap between resource management and kind of plate juggling that you want in a good survival game, and taking care of a car, like uh, you know, making sure that you don't run out of gas and checking on your battery. It all eventually came to fruition with the garage and us figuring out we wanted a safe space for the player to be the mechanic and to work on their car. And taking these excursions out into the zone where you're grabbing resources and exploring and then coming back and being able to do it again. In most survival games, there's a focus on the player and keeping them alive, but for Pacific Drive, we wanted to trim that on its head a bit and put the emphasis on the car. It's the thing that's going to keep you safe when you're out in the zone, but that's only true so long as you maintain it. The player can still take damage, but the car itself is, is a good deal more complicated. There's different slots that you can put different equipment into and customize your car, but things may happen to those parts. They may take wear and tear, they may get damaged and break or fall off. In which case you may have to craft replacement parts or scavenge for new things out in the zone. We really care about satisfying that fantasy of the player being a mechanic, like just taking care of this car and maintaining it while they're on the road. It's important for us to do this because that, that interaction helps build the player's relationship with the car, and that's something that we care a lot about for the game. So the zone is a pretty isolating and lonely place. When you're out on the road, your car is your only real travel companion, and we wanted to make sure the players had the ability to build a personal connection with the car that is special to them. We've also doubled down on that with the physical interactions as well. So every time you want to start the car, you have to turn the key, you have to get the engine to start, you have to put it in park manually. Uh, we built the whole game with these systems in mind because we want to create uh, effectively a sandbox for these different dynamic moments to occur. Sometimes when I'm driving the car, I find I have to swerve suddenly just to get out of the way of a saw blade or an electrical anomaly, and then I'm on my side in the woods, and that's actually, that's fine then, because the first time uh, I drove into the woods was as a teenager going about 40 miles an hour, but that's another story. I spent an eternity climbing this super, super steep hill with my car. I finally got to the top, climb out of my car to get what I'm going after, and turn around and there are broken bunnies just sticking all over it. They slammed on the gas and sent it barreling right back down the hill. There was a time that I came around a corner and drifted too hard onto a cliff and rolled straight down the cliff and actually ran into a group of abductors and one of them pulled me straight into the gateway and I made a safe exit from there even though the storm was closing in. I think the experience I'm looking forward to players having the most is gaining that sense of companionship with the car. You know, sitting in the garage, looking at it, seeing all of these stories that have happened, the crazy escapes, the last minute repair jobs, and really to feel like it's their car. I think that's going to be something really special. PlayStation.